Today we are playing Endless Starfield, Baba, Scramble Scramble, Solar Guardian AI, My Awesome Schmap, Simple Shooter Bullet Barrage, Captain Proton's Pickle, Eye of Yorks, Space Rider, Grinders, Final Schmap Mission, Gas Storm, and Summer Carnival 22 Cross Gunner. Mm, hi everybody, hi everybody, it's morning and I'm back on, on my old on my old self again. Hi everybody, we are about to embark on a new episode of me playing through all of the games from the basic map showcase. I'm still in my beautiful kitchen with a beautiful artwork by my daughter. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> and it's still very echoey in here, but what can you do? What can you do, right? Well, uh, all right, so we are about to uh, go through uh, 12, around 12-ish games today and I'm gonna t let you know that I'm so far and can <laughs> really impressed by the games. I mean, I, I know I would say that, right? I already told you that I'm really impressed all about all the people that actually submitted anything to the showcase. But I would assume that most of the games would be very basic and very simple. And they're not! They're amazing! They're beautiful! There's... Uh, I, there's so much happening here and, and I, I'm just floored. So let's get floored some more. Next game up the list is this one. It's Endless Starfield by Kapuman. And it's a very simple itch page. I would say this itch page could use some more, or some more work, but let's see what the game is like. Ooh, there's a full screen button here. Oh, that's in from itch, I guess. Ah, you don't have to do this twice. You just have to do it once. Oh man, it's very loud. Ah, yeah, baby. Press Z to start, press X to... Oh, you can mute the music by pressing the button. <laughs> I don't mind. <laughs> but also, it kind of tells you something about the music already. <laughs> let's, let's, let's see. Let's try it with music. Ah, yeah, baby. Oh, that's some nice coins. I like it. Why, why is it so stuttery? Why is there this acceleration and slowdown happening here? Oh, but look at this. This is, this is like a real schmuck. This is not just like... This is not messing around like I did. This is this is a real schmuck experience right here. What is this? Is it something to... Oh, no, it's just the sun. It's just, just, it's just background. Why, why is there such stuttering happening? Is it me? Was I doing this? Oh, you can turn off the music! You can turn off the music during the game! <laughs> Whoa! I picked up speed boosts! Holy crap! <laughs> I'm going over the <laughs> Oh my gosh! I don't know why, why the stuttering is happening. Is that the enemies? What, what is happening? Like the stars in the background seem stuttery, you know? I guess I should just keep the button pressed. Uh, no, bring it, bring it the music. The music was fun. Whoa, speed boost! Oh, damn, sun! I, I like how we're slowly flying past the sun here. Now the sun is setting. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, filling up the hearts. Fire boost! Oh, yes! Yeah, baby! Boss fight! Oh, <laughs> I'm down! Ah, It's a huge enemy seat that appears out of nowhere! <laughs> Look at those explosions! <laughs> Speed burst! Ah. <laughs> yeah, baby! There's Earth! We're defending Earth! <laughs> Welcome to Earth. Ah, oh, speed boost. I actually didn't really want the speed boost to be perfectly honest. Let, let's go. Let's go, baby. Come on. The boss fight is almost over. I don't want to take another speed boost. I'm, I'm fine with no speed boost. Stage clear. New wave starting stage two. Okay, so this was stage one. There's more stages. How many stages are there? We're still, uh, still on Earth. 
Oh, I know. When I press up, the scroll, the stars uh, scroll faster, and when I and, and when I press down, they scroll slower. So that, that's where the stuttering comes from. So, so now that oh, that's another Earth, or is that just like am I just looping in space? <laughs> oh, oh, oh! Smoke is trailing because I I've just down on uh, to one health. Uh oh! oh I'm picking up the hearts. I I I, I want to make it to the second boss. I want to see what the second boss is. I dig the music. I don't know why would you, why would you put a button to, to, to turn it off? Come on, man! <laughs> yeah, the fire boost. What, it, the fire boost is actually way more useful than the, you know, the speed boost. So, are the coins or is that the score? I guess it's the score, right? They're really pretty coins. Look how they're turning and, and, and how, the, how the, there's like um, specular highlights on them. That's really nice. Okay, another boss fight. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Oh, it's, it's just the same boss again. <laughs> no. Uh, oh, no, I'm not going to eat that coin. That's, that's, that's the forbidden coin. That's the cursed coin. Is that a good coin? Oh yeah, fire boost coin. Let's go. Get red. <laughs> I think the screen shake is a little bit too much. <laughs> We're talking about this. Don't overdo the screen shake. <laughs> oh yes. Okay, stage three. How many stages are there? I'm gonna try the stage three, and then and then we're gonna call it quits. Oh, there's an asteroid! Holy crap, there's an asteroid! What? There's asteroids! Holy, 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 holy. Oh, I love the asteroids. They're good. Okay, another boss fight. Let's go. Third boss fight. Let's do this. It's the same boss. <laughs> I kind of expected it. <laughs> okay, let's see if that's the final boss fight name. Oh, what the? He hit me. I've been I've been underestimating him. Ah. Oh. Let's get this the fire boost. Ooh. All right, stage four. I think I had enough of this shmup. Although there's there's some different planets in the background now. Is that Mars? Is that supposed to be Mars? <gasps> okay, I think this is a, a fine shmup. I think it's it's it does a lot of things that are interesting. I like how it basically takes the again the space invaders kind of style formula and kind of um, evolves it a little bit to turn it into a more like a you know a shmup where enemies are coming from the top and constantly and not like in these. Uh, preset uh, um, waves, preset patterns. I kind of enjoy that a lot. There is, uh, I don't mind the music. I don't know why there's a button to turn on the music, like an entire button on the game pad dedicated to turning off the music. Um, there is a, I can tell you, there is a way of putting like an option here in an option menu where you could maybe put a, a toggle for music. I think that would be a better implementation of that function, although I can understand that maybe somebody's like, how do I turn on the music? And then you would pump out an update to. <laughs> Just map it on a button or something. As, um, something I noticed is that um, there's two up, two upgrades that you can pick up, and the fire upgrade update is really good for the boss because that's when you have to put down a lot of um, firepower. The speed upgrade doesn't do doesn't do anything. There's never a situation where you need a speed update. I'm sorry, and that's kind of like where I would see like, the biggest weaknesses of the game generally. There is. Um, 
the gameplay is kind of like very stale and it's always the same. That's why I kind of like at, at the third level, I was kind of like done. I don't know if it continues forever, if it just loops, const, const, constantly loops through and just never ends, or if there is actually a final boss to this. If there is a final boss, let me know. I would try to make it to the final boss. But uh, as far as I said, the three levels that I, I've seen, they were all the same, basically. They felt the same to me. And the enemies that are approaching, they also felt the same. Like there's multiple designs of the enemies, but I just didn't really see a difference between them. And they never, the enemies never put me in a tight spot. They always shoot down. Uh, I didn't see any projectiles aiming at the, the player's ship. So it just felt like I could do whatever. Uh, I didn't need the speed upgrade. I also only needed the, um, the shooting upgrade when I encountered the boss, but otherwise I, I didn't feel like, like those were really necessary. I think in order to make this, these upgrades feel more meaningful, feel more um, valuable, you would have to change the gameplay to, make the, to put more pressure on the player, to make them move around the screen, to make them dodge things. Right now, those things are not in here yet. I think the screen check was a bit too much on the boss. <laughs> I think this put the screen check for like cutscenes or something, but I think screen check during gameplay is a bit... Uh, Oh, I, I like the, the idea that the, the stars were scrolling uh, to, based on the movement of the ship, but uh, it was really distracting. It felt uh, like stuttery a little bit because I was constantly changing up and down, moving up and down. And so constantly the background was moving up and like, like wiggling. So a basic map with a lot of potential, got a lot of little tweaks and attention to detail that I liked. But also I think it's a shmup that would benefit from uh, a pass on the gameplay mechanics, making sure that anime, that the players put under more pressure. Solid shmup, let us move on. All right, so this one is called Baba. And <laughs> it has the most basic itch website. I think this this itch website could use more than two sentences and nothing else. I think, I think that get, could... Could be a bit better. <laughs> Let's see how the game plays out. Is it a prequel to Baba is You? All right, there's a nice house. I like it. I think it's using the secondary palette. Ooh. Oh, what? What? The house was rotating. How is that possible? The sprite was rotating. Oh, look at this parallax. Oh yeah, baby! It's Baba Yaga! And she's in, inside a... Inside a pot? Is that enemies? It's enemies. Oh, that, that, they were not really good visible against the clouds. There is no impact effect. What? Why is the... Why was the intro so visually impressive and the shmupping is not that impressive? There's like no impact effects? Oh, I'm running out of time. Update soon. <laughs> That's it? Oh, that's a nice ring too. Okay, this so this seems to be like one of the work in progress maps that explains why the each website is so basic. Um, this seemed like it was made by multiple people with different skill sets because like the intro was in really impressive, like the rotation of the sprites that was that was crazy. Uh, but then um, the in, in game the map looked quite basic and, and really unpolished. So the enemies were just one color and the color choice was really bad. Again, like the pink against the gray was really bad contrast, but also then shooting the, the bullets when they hit the enemies, nothing happened. There was no impact effect. So this seemed like maybe it was made by a different per person because like if you can rotate a sprite, then surely you can whip up uh, a, a impact effect in, in a, a matter of seconds, right? It's always so funny to see a game that is has an elaborate intro, but then nothing else. It seems that the person who made the game concentrated very much on the intro with the thought that there's going to be time left to do the rest of the game. But apparently all the time that was available was just for the intro. <laughs> Usually you should probably do the opposite. You should concentrate on the things that are most important, on the vital things, which is usually the game itself. And then leave things like the intro and so forth for, uh, you know, if you have time left, which you usually don't have time left. I hope the people working on this will continue their work on this because it, it looks promising. Next time, less intro, more gameplay. All right, so next game up on the list, it's uh, Scramble Scramble by Yoko8. And I mean, that's a sweet, sweet itch.io website. Mm, I would change the background color of the embed. I, in my tutorial, there is a way, uh, in my itch tutorial, there, I described a way of how you can change the background color of the embed, but otherwise everything is really, really nice and sweet. Um, I've heard about this game before. I've seen GIFs. I have never played before. 
it seems to be like a combination of a shrub and an arcanoid, a breakthrough. Uh, so basically a combination of two of the tutorials <laughs> I just made. Uh, so yeah, let's see how the play out, plays out. Ah oh, yeah, baby! Music by Gruber Music. Gruber's everywhere. This... Oh, we, we heard we heard about that song, song, that music before. So wait, so how do I how do I shoot? Okay, with this. Oh, you cannot what? So wait, so you have to shoot the the ball, so so it goes back, right? Ah! Oh yeah! It's a bit weird that you have to launch the ball with a different uh, button than you shoot. That's a bit confusing to me. Ah! Oh man! <laughs> it's weird that there's a helicarrier there. <laughs> Why would there be a helicarrier? Ah! Uh -uh. Man, that's 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 a wild that's a wild game. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so you're not supposed to drop the ball, right? You lose a life. No damage bonus. That's right, baby. That's what what I am. Uh, they call me Mr. No Damage Bonus. Uh! Wait, can I get? Oh, I cannot get hit by the ball. The, the ball cannot da damage me, which is good. Oh wait, so there's some kind of... There, there seems to be some kind of... In the top right corner there is some kind of like a... Ammunition meter, so there seems to be like some kind of reload mechanic. Man, I should not lose the ball. Look at those... Those, those dudes who are the aliens. Look, there's something blinking, what does it mean? Is it really just like, like the two tutorials combined? That's so wild. Because the level seems so so familiar. Oh, different music. What is this? Is that an update? You're... Oh, what? I'm faster now. Oh, no, that's that was a bad idea. I don't like to be that fast. Oh man. I think the carrier is a bit too much, I have to say. <laughs> Why? It seems like the carrier just only sometimes appears? Is that true? Oh man, oof. Look at the grid in the background and all the all the debris and everything. It's so weird that the grid is moving but the debris aren't. Are the debris flying with us? What, what's happening here? Oh! Dang. Oh! That's a wild idea for a game. It's wild. And I love it. Uh, I... Oh man! I understand now the, the uh, reload mechanic. So you... You, not, you... you don't have to mash the button, but you have to release it every now and then. Okay, okay, I'm sorry, I'm getting... Game over! Press X to continue, Z to restart. Let's... Can we... Should we try again? I'm gonna try again. Oh, wait! Oh, I'm just continuing where I was, that's good! Oh, yeah, well, then I'm gonna continue. No problem, we're just gonna get through this entire game on... with the reloads. Wave 9. So I wonder if the different blocks... Uh, are actually um, they have different abilities like uh, or properties like in a breakout tutorial? Um, I, there's just so much going on. It's difficult to concentrate on on whatever is happening. Just hit the ball and wait until the level is over. Man, those bullets are are sure are annoying. Wave ten.
There's just so much to concentrate on. You have to, you have to concentrate on the ball. You have to concentrate on on not getting hit by the by the bullets, and you have to also concentrate on, on the reloading of the of your weapon. <laughs> no, why, why why do people do this? I don't understand. Oh, oh, that's that's another of those enemies. <laughs> okay. Okay, yeah, continue is the right, right button. I, it's always bad when uh, when there's like a very important choice, like continue and or restart, and it's mapped on two buttons. I think that's really, really bad because you don't know what the buttons are. are. They're not, uh, on my gamepad, they're not labeled. So I don't know which button is which. So it would be good to, in such situations, to always have um, like a menu. Let's say we go left and right, yes and no. Uh, and confirm with any button, you know? Uh, uh, uh. I, I like the music change. I wonder how many levels they are. I mean, like in the Arkanoid, in, in my breakout game, there was like... I, I wanna say 20? 20 something, I think? You can just shoot the enemies directly. That's that's <laughs> takes away from a lot of the breakout. Breakout ishness. So, so wait, that, that upgrade was that a life or something? You're not, you're not gonna get me, you, you dirty. Ah, oh, <laughs> they got me. <laughs> Oh, so you just have to kill the enemies. You don't have to actually destroy all the bricks, I guess. Oh man, I, I died. I am not. I I am. I have not yet mastered this game for sure. It's just so much happening. Oof. It's, I'm surprised how good this works. This is just. <laughs> You would think like, oh, you're just gonna put two games together and it's like, nah, this will never work. But nope, it totally works. Oh, man. Oh yeah, wave 13, holy crap, so many waves. Very concentrated. So, so the, the robots, the robots are beautiful, by the way. The, the animation is amazing. Um, so it seems like the robots are kind of like, uh, you know, kind of like mid bosses, basically, or like big enemies. I, I wonder when what's with the. Okay, so the power ups are not actually speed upgrades. I thought it was a speed upgrade. It, I was just. I just made it up. <laughs> oh, dedicated to mom? <laughs> Did it just say dedicated to mom? Oh, That's cute. I hope mom played it this game. What? What? Second boss? No way! It's a crazy dragon! Space Dragon! Oh, shit! What? Oh, it recreates its shield. So, oh, you have to, you have to. Ah, oh, this is a difficult boss. Ah, oh, I thought I had the time. I didn't. Oh! It's weird that you do not do not collide with the ball at all. I think it would have made more sense if you colliding with the ball would just like make the ball go up. Oh, I killed the dragon. I still have to kill the. Oh no! Oh, no! Why would you do this? Why would you? What's with the people spawning small enemies and bots? Ah! 
<laughs> okay, I kind of understand it. What? Oh, oh, I don't. I'm just continuing where I was. Okay, never mind. It's, it's all good. It's all good. Uh, retirees eight. End score forty. Total score 10, 10, 40, 10, 10, 450. You defeated the Gear Empire. That's what the Gear Empire was fighting. Apparently, press X to restart. Sweet! So what do we think? Well, a crazy combination of two genres that should not have been possible, but it's apparently possible and it works beautifully. There are some little details about uh, the implementation that I didn't like, about the controls. I, didn't, don't, I do not appreciate uh, messing around, being the, the fun police on the shooting. I don't know. We had this in multiple games before. I, th I know I understand the drive to, to make the shooting more sophisticated by adding some kind of mechanics to it, but in the end you are just policing the fun. Let the players shoot when they press the button. That's That shouldn't be a big deal. Um, in this case it wasn't too bad, because it was just you press the button and until you run out of ammunition, and when you let go you kind of reload. Um, but the problem with that is, is so the, re the way you do this is you keep pressed and then periodically you release. Uh, what it created in, in me, the result for me was I was just mashing the button all the time. Because that was easier than to keep track of how much you know of the rhythm of of the of the of my gun, so in the end I, I was just got to, my thumb got just really tired, <laughs> and it's like I don't know I, I didn't I didn't feel like mastering the system would add anything to it. I also thought that no collision with the ship was weird. I think the ship should have been just like a paddle when you when it, the ball hits the ship, then the ball uh, the the ball flies away. I think that would have been, been fine. Um, the background was sometimes a bit confusing, so I liked the grid actually. I, I think that was a really good effect, um, the grid scrolling sideways and so forth, so there was a bit of parallax happening. But there was also space debris on the screen and they weren't scrolling and that ruined the parallax effect. Parallax is something that you have to be really disciplined with when you're applying it. And uh, if something is, doesn't move the way it should be with parallax, then it ruins the entire effect. It's just like stuff moving on the screen. I did not, did not enjoy the space debris too much, I, th I thought. The enemies were nothing special, uh, but they did put me under pressure. So there was aimed shots, there were straight shots, um, and it was more uh, really more about the, the weird levels and more about the, like the interaction with the ball itself was already so engaging. And then adding just like very simple attack patterns to it was more enough to keep me occupied. So I enjoyed that a lot. Plus it had an awesome dragon as the final stage. How awesome was that? All in all, a thoroughly enjoyable experience. Thank you so much. Next up, Solar Guardian AI by Tarek 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 Tavari Tarek Tavaria. When it comes to Itch.io websites, you cannot get any more basic than this. That's definitely something that this that needs to work on this one. Let's see how the schmuck works out. I have a bad feeling when when Itch.io website is so basic. By Tarek, okay. Solar Guardian AI, work in progress. Okay, so it's one of those. Okay. No, no music. Choose, choose your weapon. Ooh, okay. What do I want? Shield, bomb, or la gotta go with laser. Ooh, there's no sound? Or did I just do something? No, there's no sound. Oh, look at those enemies. Oh, they are nice enemies. Oh, these are nice. You are dead. <laughs> Let's start, let's start level, let's start game, okay. Uh, let's see what bomb is. So bomb is, oh, that's bomb, okay. So that's the, what the second bomb, uh, button does. These are nice enemies. Look, look at this, different different formations, different different attack patterns. And it's like a real shmup. It's not, it's, uh, <laughs> I say real shmup, it's not like Space Invaders isn't a real shmup, it's just like a very different type of shmup. These enemies feel a bit spongy. Um, but okay. So I picked up something. There is, there is some kind of um, power meter in the top right corner. I think, I wonder why there is no sound effects. I think there should be sound effect, even in a, like a work, work, work in progress kind of thing. Oh, I think I made it through the game. Okay, let's try it again. I want to see maybe the laser again. All right, so I'm, I'm here, I'm shooting, I'm shooting my laser, and then I'm gonna uh, wait for the, for the tanky enemies to arrive, and I'm gonna shoot them down with my laser. <laughs> baby okay and then again <laughs> oh yeah no these are really nice enemies i love the bullets um the bullet patterns as well oh wait there's more coming there's more coming i didn't see that before that's new 
might, must have been some kind of bug. You survived. <laughs> Score 1,200. Thank you so much. Yeah, so what would you think about it? Again, work in progress, so it's kind of difficult to tell, right? But it looked super solid. I ooh, it didn't seem like the, uh, there was time wasted or anything. I, this time there was no like crazy intro where all the, the time was invested in. It just seemed like, I mean, I have to say like, uh, straying from the off the beaten path and making like this scrolling shmup and not this base invader time shmup, that takes a lot of effort. Um, so I don't blame anybody for, for running out of steam doing that kind of stuff. But from what I've seen so far, this was really good. I re the only thing that I really needed for like a complete shmup experience were the sound effects. And that's so easy to make in, in, in Pico 8, so don't forget to shmup uh, sound effects. Just put in temp sound effects. You can just do it in, in a, you know, half a minute. That's a very easy way to turn your work in progress kind of game into something that feels a lot more complete. I hope Tarek will continue working on this because this looks baller. Now we are about to embark on a game with a perfect name. This game is called My Awesome Shmup <laughs> by Seji, Seji, Seji Pants, Seji Pants, Seji Pants. I don't know. Let's see how this works. Um, the itchy website doesn't look that awesome. There's install instructions. Do I have to download this or can I just run it in, inside the, sh the browser? Oh, oh, that doesn't look good. That's, that's not Pico 8. So the first game that is not Pico 8. Ooh, ooh, look at this. So somebody tried to maybe recreate the shmup inside not Pico 8. Should we try to play it here or should I download it? Let's just play, play it here. Oh, it probably doesn't have, um, doesn't, doesn't have controller support, right? Oh, it does. Oh, wait, I can, <laughs> I can shoot. Oh God, it's way too fast. I can shoot, but I cannot control. Let, let's download this and see how that works. Oh, wait, wait, you need to, you will need to download and install Love2D to be able to run the game once it's, oh, I'm not doing that, I'm sorry. I, I don't have Love installed on this PC and I'm not gonna do that right. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's, I'm, I have to draw the line at some point. You cannot, that's not how you publish games. Uh, let's see if we can make, maybe work it in, in here. I'm gonna try to use um, my keyboard, luckily, this PC that I'm working on it actually has American keyboard, so X and Z are actually viable controls. Usually I use German keyboards, and then X and Z are horrible button layouts, and you should never use them. It's, it's way too fast. I don't know why it's so fast. <laughs> this is unplayable. I'm sorry. This is just unplayable. <laughs> But it's amazing how far I can get, which is like, <laughs> it's, it's the instincts from my, because it looks like exactly like, like cherry bomb. So it's the instincts from my cherry bomb, the uh, cherry bomb instincts uh, kicking in, right? Can I move up and down? Yeah, I can. Yeah. Ah, oh, baby. <laughs> this is like a skull appearing when you, when you trigger the, the, uh, the bomb. This, this level looks different and the enemies are also different too. Ooh, look at them. Oh. This, is, this, this takes so much of my concentration. Okay, I cannot play this game. I'm sorry, I cannot play this game. I, maybe I will do this later on, maybe on a stream or something. I will try to actually try to get um, Lua installed and maybe I can get it to work. But otherwise, it seems like a very solid implementation of um, Cherry Bomb on Lua. I would say that if you are publishing a game, you should make sure that people can play it. I think just sending a, like an open file that people have to load in your development environment, that's not a good way to publish a game. Then you probably should just not do it. Uh, maybe we can make it work later. Simple Shooter Bullet Barrage by Eduardo Szez? Szez? Eduardo Szez? Szez? I'm, I'm not really sure. It looks, the website looks solid. Let's see how this works. Still the um, dark gray background. Again, I have a tutorial on this, how to fix this. So I, should, uh, I would recommend uh, fixing this. Let's see how the game works. Oh yeah, <laughs> Every, <laughs> everybody uses the same music. <laughs> uh, that's nice, that's nice. A really nice drop shadow on the, on the text. I have, we haven't went through how, how, that, how to make that work. Uh, you cannot move the, the ship on the start screen. I, I love when you can do that. But, oh yeah, we we know that, that sound effect, right? Ah oh, yeah, baby. It, it looks a bit... It looks... Oh no, it has an overheating mechanic. No, <laughs> it is the pain of my existence. Why are people doing this? <laughs> Why is every game putting the fun police on the shooting? <laughs> You're not allowed to shoot. 
You have to stop shooting in the shooting game. <laughs> Ah, but I, it's, uh, I can tell it's um, definitely not a uh, Space Invader kind of type of thing. You have um, more organic spawns, so that's I appreciate that a lot. And I like the explosions, they have more concentric circles. Uh, there's also some drone strike. I have a drone. Okay, let's do the drone strike. That's a drone strike? <laughs> that's one hell of a drone, man. Bullet barrage. Oh, okay, so... What does that do? Oh, okay, now I am this drone strike. <laughs> I have become drone strike. Oh, what's that? Ooh, what's this, this guy's business? Yeah, baby, bullet barrage. Bullet barrage seems extremely strong. Seems like completely overpowering the enemies. Yeah, baby! Um, so far, I've not I've seen very different enemy behaviors, but so far the behaviors are not necessarily putting me under a lot of pressure. Especially the... Oh, there's a... Whoop! Okay, never mind! That guy just like... Boop! <laughs> Get wrecked, guy. Oh, man, my gun is overheating. Can't use my gun! Gotta stop using my gun! Gonna turn this into a non-shooter for a second. All right, five out of nine. I will. I, it seems like we're doing well. Drone strike. Okay, I don't need this drone strike right now. Although let's listen to the drone strike. Bam, baby. <clears throat> I wonder how um, how much sense it makes to keep a. Uh, one of the upgrades, one of the special abilities around. Um, because it seems like I cannot... Uh, oh, there's... Ooh, look at that guy. Oh, that's an interesting enemy pattern. Do a drone strike real quick. So we can pick up another pickup. <laughs> that's a little frog UFO. UFO. That's what it looks like. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, ho, 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 look at this guy. Look at those guys! Oh man, let's pick it up. Oh, one up, that's good. That's what I wanted. Oh, I lost again. <laughs> oh, Jesus! Oh, these are definitely putting me under pressure. Oh man, I wish I had a drone strike now. Uh, oh, there we go. Maybe now, shield on her. I'm not really that interested in shields. But okay. Okay, warping to the enemy zone. Seven out of nine. That's a character from Star Trek. Gonna make sure that the enemies disappear as quickly as possible because there is potential for really bad enemies to appear. Oh, now that I'm <laughs> now that I'm here, I'm getting all the one ups. I want to have more drone strike. Jesus, what's what's with those? That's the green guys, right? It's the green guys. That's what they do. Gotta watch out. The green guys feel, it feels like they are, they do turn around. Uh, whoa, I died. Okay, I'm gonna try it again. Okay, seven out of nine again. I've been playing this game for a while. I kind of get the idea now a little bit, but I'm not doing so well. I usually I die around this this part. The I think the, the part where all the green guys come, the, that's just, a, just, it's just, it's just so sudden. The attack is so sudden, yeah, like. <laughs> I'm sorry, it just gets too much. It gets too much. And there is a one big flow with this game. I said it before, but the overheating mechanic on the shooting just redampens my, uh, you know, enthusiasm of going back in the game after, after I died. I will maybe return to it in the stream or something, but right now I had my fill. I will say it is overall a very good game. It is a good transition of the tutorial shmup into kind of like this um, scrolling type of shmup. The individual waves feel very distinct. There's very um, distinct enemies in there that require different strategies. I love all of this. I also appreciate the upgrade system. It's a bit simplistic, but the upgrades feel like, yeah, I'm getting something. So I don't mind the pickups and the updates at all. Generally a very competent game that I would probably stick around and play through if it wasn't for the overheat mechanic. Maybe we'll come back to this later. Otherwise, good job. Actually, we've been discussing this in the Discord uh, as I was editing this video, and it turns out Edushesh already um, 
implemented a version without the overheat mechanics, so we will definitely come back to this one. All right, next up is Captain Proton's Pickle by uh, Miao1967. It seems like this is um, this is the second. There's two games that were inspired by Star Trek, and this is one of those. So that's weird. But also, let's see. Oh no, the embed is so small. I cannot. I don't know how to make it go full screen. Can I go like? No. Oh man. All right. I hacked the website. <laughs> I think you need to make the embed bigger so people can access those buttons because those buttons are actually quite important. Captain Proton's Pickle. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Babies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh, it's black and white, like Captain Proton. Oh, look at, ooh. Yes, and no overheat mechanics whatsoever. Thank you so much. Oh, wow, those attacking ships are really attacking, huh? Look at those, those animations. That's crazy. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, I got hit once. Two out of nine. That's it, baby. Some of the attacks are... Oh, yeah, that's... <laughs> we already... We we know that attack pattern. We know it very well. I've been, that's my, it's been my, one of my curses. Do we have... Do we have a um, bomb or something? Oh, yes, the cherry bomb. Yeah, baby. Oh, man, look at those attack patterns. Their attack patterns are a lot more vicious and a lot more aggressive than in, uh, they, they were in, in a cherry bomb, which I appreciate. Four out of nine. I wonder if it reaches seven out of nine, will there be a seven out of nine gag? So that would have been quite, quite, uh, quite fitting. Wow, those shots are, I think, a bit fast. I don't know. Like some of the attacks are difficult to dodge. And the only way to get not get hit is just to get lucky, basically. Uh, oh, dang! That, that was that was on me. That was on me. I saw that coming. My last heart now. I have to get to 7 of 9. If I don't get to 7 of 9, I will feel bad. Oh no. Okay, now we have to restart. So one thing that you can do in this game, that you can do that in uh, Cherry cherry Bomb as well. You can just like not do anything and wait until the enemies all come down and then we got 7 of 9, baby! There's no 7 of 9 gag. Oh, what a missed opportunity. So I don't know if she ever starred in Captain Proton. Like that, that was like from uh, Voyager, right? Ooh, look at those guys. What are these? Holy moly. Yeah, they're definitely the, oh, oh, oh that's bullet hell right here. <laughs> I went to bullet hell. Let's see if we can defeat those. All right, back in 7 of, seven of 9. In the level of disappointment, <laughs> it's fine. I don't need the, I don't need the Easter egg. It's fine. I'm over it. <laughs> All right, eight of nine. That was the level that we had problems with last time. What are these? These are these like? Oh, that looks so crazy. Now, now I'm in a pickle right now because I cannot attack them, so I have to dodge them, and that's fine. Okay, final sector. Is that going to be the bad guy? It's got going to be final. <gasps> Oh, it's the proton! <laughs> I mean, it's the atom, I guess. But inside, it's the, it's the nucleus. It's a proton, I, I guess. It's a proton and neutron, I guess. Oh, man, I, I I can't do physics while <laughs> I'm playing shmups. Ah, what? If I, if I die to this, that will be quite, a, quite an embarrassment because <laughs> I've designed this. <laughs> Ah, uh, what? I cannot launch my attack? I cannot? Oh man. Oof. Yes! <laughs> Beam me up, Scotty. Yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I don't know, I, th I thought it was great. Um, it's a reskin basically of, of um, um, Cherry Bomb, but there's a lot of new additions that I really liked. Um, the enemy behavior is quite different. There's the enemy level, level design is very different. The enemies that come from the size come a lot earlier. The enemies feel more vicious. 
it is more difficult to play as a result. I thought some of the enemy attacks when they jumped down there were a bit too fast. Like they were so fast, there was no way you can dodge them. And you can increase difficulty like this, but at some point, you know, the strategy is then not to get in their way basically. And that's how I play through a lot of the, uh, the levels. I just like carved a safe spot in the level and waited for all the enemies to attack. Um, I also thought the explosions, some of the explosions were a bit too big. They shoot a lot of particles outside and it's easy to get the particles confused with other enemies or bullets, especially since they share the color palette. So I would probably try to contain a little bit the, the explosions so they're more focused on where something is close and not, not, not spilling the particles all over the place. But otherwise, it was a really, really fun and an enjoyable shmup. I gladly play that again. All right, so our next game is going to be this one. It's called Eye of the Yox. I'm already a bit hyped because I mean, this is a very basic um, itch website, but it's it seems like, you know, even the background is, is, is correct. So somebody put some effort into it, even though it looks so, so, so minimalistic. Oh, look at that intro. Look at that, that start screen. Look at this. Look at how awesome this looks. 3D and the stars are spinning. I wanted to maybe do that in the, in the tutorial, but I decided like, ah, we had enough trigonometry. Oh, okay, I can do instructions. Oops, that wasn't instructions. <laughs> Again, mapping choices to button presses is not so good. Oh, okay, there's a, I can see there's a charge mechanic. Which means we're gonna go button mashing. Nobody has time for the... Oh, I'm gonna charge the button between the levels for sure. It feels like the ship is a bit slow. Was, was that a power-up? Yeah, that was a power-up. Holy crap! Whoa, the enemy's coming from the sides? Oh yeah, that's... Yeah, that's right, because I taught you to... <laughs> I, lo I love this. I love the wave 3 approaching thing. Good use of, of um, screen check between the stages, not necessarily during them. Whoa. How do I kill these bad bastards? Does the second button do something? Oh, it makes you go faster? It does No, it doesn't. Wait, where are my shields? Or did it, the button make the shields go away? Oh look, the mouths are coming at me. They're eating me. Oh, this looks this looks properly, properly creepy. Love it. Diamonds, yeah. Always the evil diamonds in the shmups. Diamonds are the worst. <laughs> Ooh, look at this green guys. Okay, getting somewhere. The coin is more points, I guess. It's just more points. I'd rather have something more substantial than points. Okay, so if I press this button, no, that that wasn't the button. It's just the shield. It's just an upgrade that 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 stays around. It seems like the shields are not rotating exactly around the center of the ship. Oh, I used the shields because I got hit. Oh, there was this one green eye. We're gonna kill the green eye. I didn't charge my shot. I did. I did. I did a mistake, a Rooney. Oh wow, the green eye is, is super dangerous too. Boom! Yeah, see now the diamonds are the diamonds are kind of like defensive shields for the enemies. What? More enemies are spawning mid wave. What? Oh, there's a there's a green mouth. We gotta get rid of the green guys. The green guys are the dangerous guys, right? That's how it works. Oh, there's there's sometimes your shots are ricocheting from the diamonds and then turn into enemy bullets. That's cool. That's that's. Oh, oh, oh I like this. Oh, this is this is such a nice detailed schmuck. Mm. Oh no! I got hit. But now I have the shield, so now nothing can happen. Ah, uh, what? I take the shields, right? 
Okay, we gotta play this again. My my hand is getting really tired from the from the mashing. All right, back at wave nine. Let's see. I still have just one life left. It's it's a brutal game. Gotta watch out on those sideways flying guys. They are vicious. Oh, another flyweight sign, guys. Yeah, not gonna get that one. Get me. Oh, what? There's there's different types of bullets now. Oh gosh, this is bad. I think it's it's intentional that the uh, shields are have to be taken down. Oh man, no more enemies coming in, and I got hit by the by the streams. Okay, I'm gonna give it one more try. Okay, wave nine. I'm way better equipped now. I'm learning this game. I'm learning this game. And everything is Petri. Okay, so I'm gonna... Oh, what? Is that an extra life? I'm gonna get the extra life. Come on, give me the extra... That's the first time I've seen this update and now I've lost it. How frustrating. Oh, what? Man, those mid <laughs> mid-wave spawns are punishing. <laughs> they are crazy punishing. <laughs> also, like the the... The enemy shields seriously uh, slow down my ability to fight the enemies. Holy crap! Oh, there's so much happening! <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. I think I had enough. My thumb is sore, I have to say. No, I love this game. This is a very polished game. It's a, um, again, an evolution of of the tutorial shmup, but going way past beyond the tutorial shmup. The enemies feel very distinct. I have a very good idea of what each enemy is doing. There's different strategies I have to employ against different enemies. There's the mid-wave spawns, which really change up how the level plays and put in pressure on you to defeat the enemies earlier so you don't have to deal with them well. And um, next wave comes in. It kind of like retains the idea of Space Invaders, but makes it way more dynamic, and I love this. Um, the charge mechanic, I like that there's a charge mechanic. Um, I think this is really good that you have to, you know, charge your shot to defeat the, um, the, the shield, the, the diamonds there. I will say that I don't like, I do not appreciate uh, holding the button, uh, mashing the button to for an irregular shot. That really just hurts my thumb, even though I'm using the, the gamepad. I think I might not feel the same way if it was a, if it was a uh, arcade stick. I would probably, if I want to continue this game, I would probably try to rig my uh, my gamepad so it has auto fire. Um, I think it seems like the second button is doing nothing, so I don't quite understand why this, the, you couldn't charge the shop with the second button. I think that would have been a better solution um, because forcing the player to mash the button is not a good solution. I don't think that's a good, good idea. I will definitely want to return to this game. I want to play it more. I want to see the final boss. I think there's some interesting things happening. Little nitpicks, but overall an awesome game with lots of attention to detail, with great thought into this, quite polished. I like it. Next up, this is Space Rider by Na4K. So this website has been touched by human hand. I, that, that's already a good sign. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see how this plays out. Oh, my, my thumb is so sore. Um, pressing the key to start. I will. Oh, oh, that's that seems very familiar. Ooh, look! They're coming in from the sides. How sweet! I like those bullet animations. Very hectic bullet. Oh yeah. Oh look, there's a, there's a sad face. There's a sad face. Oh, why don't I wonder why I'm even. Oh, oh, there's a power up. Ooh, yes, I like this power up. Oh, it's very dynamic shmup. People are things are coming out from all sides. Good enemies, good enemies, different enemies. Oh, now there's a whole bunch of enemies coming at the same time. That's good. Oh, I mean, people are really taking the shmup and, and going places with it, the shmup tutorial, I mean. I like that. Combining some enemies with each other, that's good. Oh, something was powered up. Yeah, my shot is super powered up now. Get wrecked, everybody. That was a bit weird spawn. I think spawning so far down the screen is a bit bit risky for the player to engage with but it worked out well okay yeah oh that's just like i'm fully powered up now i i don't need any more power ups i'm just getting points now that's good oh <laughs> look at that guy walnut eye yeah baby oh that, was, that shouldn't have hit me i don't know why it didn't hit me. 
Oh, 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 oh no, bullets. <laughs> bullets coming from the sides. Ah, oh, boom, explosions. High score, congratulations. Should be an S there. Press any to continue. Okay, are we in the second level now or are we? Oh, it's just the same. It's just the game from the beginning now. That was it? I think that was it, right? Yeah, I think that was it. I liked it. It was a good game. It was a, again, a very simple adaptation of the Schmuck tutorial, but moving beyond it, just making it less pattern based, but make it more organic, more like modern shmups. And it is a good implementation of that. Enemies are varied. Different strategies have to be employed against the enemies. The patterns that are coming in are good. Enemies combined with each other result in different challenges. The boss fight at the end was a bit simple, but hey, it had a lot of a lot of patterns happening. I wish the boss was itself was moving around a little bit, maybe. Overall, I'm just hungry for more. I wish there was maybe a second and third level and so forth. I understand that these are difficult to pull off, especially if you don't have the tools to design the levels. We're going to talk about that later. But otherwise, I was thoroughly enjoying this. Well done. All right, next up is Grinders. Grinders by Tracy D. McGrath. Yeah, the itch website. Oh. Makes me fear, fear a bit for what, what's gonna, gonna happen now, but we're gonna see, we're gonna see. We're gonna find out, aren't we? The embed is weird, it's very small. Makes the, oh, oh, look at this. Oh, the game just begins, there's no start screen. <laughs> oh, there's the start screen right here. Was it like a demo? Game by Tracy McGrath, hop on Helis to combo, press uh, circle to restart, high score two, okay. Yeah, baby! Oh, man, yes! I, I'm a skater on, on telephone wires fighting helicopters. Wow, D there's just one life? There's just one life? There's just... Oh, man! <laughs> wow, <laughs> that's difficult. That's a difficult game. Oh, <laughs> score. It's, it, I think this is more of a... This seems to be, this seems to be a game... That's following the uh, Flappy Bird school of thought. <laughs> oh, wow! <laughs> Don't get hit even once. Oh yeah, baby. That, if, if you get if you get that, that's good. Five is my high score right now. Oh yeah, baby. Oh. Uh, oh man, four. Okay, let's see if we can get six. If we get six, we're gonna be happy. <laughs> Shooting down helicopters on the skateboards is kind of amazing. <laughs> I also love the gorilla dot bus uh, backgrounds. It's in the same city that the gorillas were throwing bananas at each other. And just a few people out there got the reference. Score 16, baby! Okay, let's gonna try to, uh, to beat 16. I don't like how the helicopters behind me are shooting at me. That's that's not That doesn't seem fair. It seems like it's against the rules. Where's the police enforcing that shooting, huh? Uh, enforcing, uh, policing that shooting, I mean. Oh man, zero, what? Police enforced shootings. That's that seems that seems pretty grisly. Let's not get into that. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. Good, good. Uh, the heli I love that how elaborate the helicopters are falling. That's that's. Uh, that, it feels like you've done a cat catastrophe when that happens. Oh, there's a combo down there as well. How does that work? How do I get my combo up? Do I have to... is it the idea that you have to shoot helicopters down in, in the same jump? Is that the idea? Oh, let's get... See, the problem... Oh, what? Oh, you, if you touch the helicopters, you are... You're... Oh, you, there's, there's a... There's a melee attack as well. Wow. <laughs> okay, one more try. One more try. One more attempt that is higher than five. Yeah, baby. So wait. So is it like? Oh, <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't get hit by bullets. Ah! Ah! 
Oh, baby, score nine. Oh, I don't know how, how this how the multiplayer works. Uh, 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 19. Uh, I am I am the, the helicopter destroyer. Uh. <laughs> and helicopter is an expensive piece of machinery. I'm creating a lot of damage right now. <laughs> I'm on the roll! I'm on the roll! Oh, I flew too close to the sun. 37 is my high score, guys. Uh, I love this. This is good. Um, wow, what a crazy game. I don't even see where my tutorial is in there. I think somebody was like, yeah, shmup, I'm gonna do something crazy and then just went for it. And I love it. It's it's a crazy idea. It's, it's nicely implemented. Um, it's a bit simple, it's a bit basic kind of game, but it does the job, that's what it's supposed to do. Again, it feels a bit more like um, a Flappy Bird, where you know it's very difficult to get anything going at all, but it's clearly possible to get, get far in the game, and it, there is some uh, depth to it. But Oh, it says here, hop on Haley's to combo, so I guess if you hop on Haley, you can jump to the next Haley from that, I guess. Um, so yeah, that's really great. Um, there's nice effects going on on the... Um, when you shoot down the Hades, they kind of like really explode really nicely. That's so that's really cool. And the only thing I really wished it had um, that it had a more um, definitive start screen. Like it seems like it started me right into the game, and then when you go game over, then you go into this screen, and that's kind of like a start screen, but also game over screen at the same time. It would have been nice, I think, if it started me here. Also, but you know, again, that's not, not necessarily a criticism of, of the game, but I also always feel with the um, Flappy Bird, it's always nice if something interesting other happens. It's not always the same thing, but maybe some something new happens. So I think it would have been nice if, if there was maybe a different helicopter help coming in or a different kind of challenge or maybe something happened to the rope, maybe a gap that you have to skip over. Also, I felt like when the helicopters were on top of me and I, you know, because there was no way for me to jump up, so I couldn't shoot them down, it was quite difficult for me to deal with helicopters that are just directly above me because they would shoot down the bullets. I think it would be nicer if you would, if the helicopters would stop shooting bullets once they're close enough to you. Um, there's this concept in maps called uh, bullet ceiling, and it is that some, some enemies start, stop shooting at certain points because if they shot, it would be like, really unfair. And I think applying subtle ceiling uh, to, to this game would have been would help the game field uh, generally a little bit. Although, on the other hand, I mean, uh, it seems like hitbox is very uh, forgiving. You can weave between the bullets pretty, pretty easily. So maybe that's not a big deal after all. I appreciate the creativity. I appreciate the original idea. Well executed. I love it. Oh yeah, it definitely needs a better website though. I Come on, like you can do better. Come on. All right, the next one is a final shmup mission by Kilik. Oh, the, the website didn't load fully. Oh, now it looks nice and uh, everything. I was like wondering. The, <laughs> I, think, I think the title of the game could be a bit big. <laughs> uh, Kilik, my favorite, one of my favorite characters from uh, Soul Calibur. So let's see. Final shmup mission. Well, that's a very economical start screen. I, I don't mind. Whoa! Okay, that was the bomb. <laughs> you start with two bombs. Catch! Oh, no! I'm catching. I'm catching. Ooh, it's, it's dice. I'm catching dice. That was a four dice. Now it's a five dice. What else? What will happen now? Oh, you could, you could make a game where you're catching the power-ups and it's like Yahtzee. Oh man, ooh, those shots are sniping shots. Those are very fast shots. Those are punishingly shot, fast shots, oof. <clears throat> Three of eight, okay, and <laughs> we're already down to the last life. Oh, there's a driller. I, I think I know what the driller enemies were gonna do. I have, oh, oh, ooh, interesting. <laughs> it's the opposite of what, what, uh, what we're doing with our enemy. With the hated sideways attack and wow those those sniping shots are crazy so i'm keep picking up the pickups but i don't really know what the pickups are doing for me is it just points if it's points they could just as well not exist yeah the eye is is, is really filling filling the screen with bullets but they're slow bullets so i don't mind i mean i enjoy the weaving between the bullets and everything 
man, this is gonna be tough. Those are there's gonna be a lot of snipers. So I better get rid of the snipers first, huh? Oh man, that was that was close. Bam, let's do a bomb here. Okay, see? Now everything is easy. Easy peasy for breezy. Oh man, oof. <laughs> Look at this. That's gonna be a difficult challenge here. I don't even know if is there a possibility to get a one up in this game. So I would appreciate a one up right now. Okay. 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 Blah, blah, blah. That was that was a one up. I got a one up. Okay, seven out of eight. Almost there. Almost there. Oh man, look at look at the look at the bullet hell. Ah, oh, love it. Love it. Love it. I'm down with that. That's so good. Ah, oh, weaving, weaving between the bullets like a bouse. Like a bouse on on the wind. Oh, this is this is this is serious. This is serious, man. Okay, I think I got most of it. I still don't quite understand the power-up system. Oh, warning! <laughs> That's a nice warning! <laughs> what? <laughs> it's a big guy! It's a big, big guy! Oh man, those bullets are, are crazy too. Oh, what? Why would you do this? Oh, how did it not hit me? I don't understand. Is my hitbox so small? Oh, wow. I'm gonna use a bomb here. This is this is a bit too crazy for me. I'm gonna use the bomb as soon as I can. Oh, I still have one life. Oh gosh, it's so difficult. To, this is a, this is a difficult pattern to to avoid. Oh come on, can you can we can you die now? <laughs> I'm done with this boss. I'm done with this boss. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I like. I love how you apparently die at the end. You explode into into pink particles. That's a really nice music too. Right, right. So what do you think? Uh, solid shmup. I there is nothing wrong with here. I love it. Well, I do have to say, I found the pickup system a bit complicated. I'm gonna read the second the website in a second to figure it out. But yeah, like you're picking up the dice and you don't know where it's going. And sometimes I got a life up and sometimes I got the bombs. I didn't, I don't know, it didn't, it, I feel, I've played through the entire game. I still don't understand how this works. I thought the enemies were pretty vicious. I think I thought the star-shaped enemies that were sniping, the bullets were very, very fast. That felt like a very, Difficult bullet to dodge. Um, I felt um, there. I, I really liked the second to last level where the entire screen was full of bullets. That felt very bullet helly, and also the final boss felt very bullet hell like. Although some of the attacks were <laughs> quite crazy, uh, they were past my comfort level when it comes to bullet hell. But I did it somehow. I had enough resources to get through, so that was fine. Uh, something else I thought maybe a bit disappointing is I th I would have hoped that the because it seems like the final boss was just like the regular enemy sprite scaled up. Yeah, I would have preferred if it was like a really nice, uh, you know, custom designed sprite, kind of like a surprise or something. So that's something maybe I would suggest working on in the future. It's kind of like, I feel like the boss enemies should be kind of like, um, it should be like a reveal, like a surprise, a reward. Like you made it so far, now here's some crazy graphics, you know. We definitely had that in the last video, for example, in the, when the Cthulhu, um, when, when you have the diving game and you fight against fish and at the end there's Cthulhu, you know, that felt like really amazing. And I think um, uh, that game would benefit from this kind of reveal. Otherwise, I had my fun. It was a thoroughly enjoyable. I was on the edge of my seat. I love it. What does it say? Every fifth enemy drops a medal. Collecting a medal increases the value of the next one up 500 points. If a medal falls off the screen, the value resets back to 100 points. Get 4,000 points for an extra life. Oh, how do you get bombs though? Doesn't say. Doesn't say how to get bombs. It seems like we can get more than two bombs, but I don't know how. Moving on. So this is, uh, this is an interesting game. This is called Gas Storm by Edo Hachi, which seems to be, seems to be a Japanese developer. 
and they were using Godot engine. So they were not necessarily using Pico 8. Uh, oh man, hopefully this will work. I really want to play it. Let's go with full screen. Oh, oh, something is happening. Something is happening. Oh, I think we got it. Oh, it has con it has gamepad controls too. Let's let's see. Let's let's. Oh, uh, it's a bit stuttery. Oh, oh, the the frame rate is very low. Oh, very low frame rate. Okay. Oh, oh God. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, it has out of fire. Okay, it's just like the shooting frequency is very low. <laughs> I like that. I kind of like the what? Oh, it just came out of nowhere. There was nowhere for me to. Oh man, but this is this is a frame rate that only a mother could love. Oh, I could play the game here. That feels a lot more fluid. See, that's that's that. Oh, that's a very different game. Holy crap! Yeah, maybe. If the game was downloadable, that would be actually a lot better. Because this seems like a very different game, but I just cannot wait. Can I? Okay, let's try again. Okay, yeah, that's a... Okay, <laughs> I've been playing this game uh, on full screen, but when it plays on full screen, the frame rate is very low, uh, and the game runs very slowly, and it seems like I just, when you just zoom in into the tiny little window in the, which this game is embedded in, that's a very different experience. So this, I'm gonna try this again now because I think this is this is the intended experience. The game was running so low, I couldn't I couldn't hit most enemies because the shots would go through the enemies. This is, I think, more the way the game is supposed to be played. Yeah. Um. So. Oh man. This is this this. Oh yeah. This feels. Proper now. This, oh, I, I didn't see that these are shots actually. I pay more attention. Yeah, this feels more like Galaga really because you have like those enemies flying in, and that that is very Galaga like. I did not did do that in Pico 8. Um, I kind of like went for an easier route. Wow, look at those patterns. Uh, but maybe uh, now in hindsight, I maybe should have done that because this makes this looks this makes it feel really dynamic. Oh, now we're going backwards! Look at this, we're going backwards. Oh, what? That was unfair. There's no bomb or anything, it's just like shooting. But the shooting is nice. It feel now it feels nice. It didn't feel so nice in the full screen. Oh no! Oh what the shots are coming out of nowhere. That's that's unfair. Why would you shoot out of nowhere? Invisible enemies? What's 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 wrong? Yeah, the shots are coming out of nowhere. It's crazy. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna call it quits. If the shots are coming out of nowhere, <laughs> I'm, I'm drawing the line there. I think it's a good game. I think um, it's a really nice implementation of Galaga. Uh, feels very dynamic and very, very vivid. Uh, it seems to be made with um, Godot engine and yeah, definitely plays into the strength of that. But also some weaknesses of the Godot engine seems to be like the uh, HTML5 export is really bad. When you, go, you, know, you go to full screen, the game really drops frames like crazy. It's just a completely unplayable, very different experience. I think in, in situations like this, I would prefer if you could download the game. There is no way of downloading the game. I would prefer to play a local version of this game so I can get like the high speed experience without having to play it in a browser window like this. But it's fun to see a shmup made in a different engine. I wonder how much the shmup was actually inspired by my tutorial series or if it's just a shmup that somebody had lying around. Either way, I appreciate people making shmups in different engines and trying them out. But we have to move on. We have to move on because we have a full meal ahead of ourselves. That's right. This is Actane Summer Carnival 22 presents Cross Gunner. Oh man, I've been looking forward to this one. This has been 
uh, the talk in the Discord. And look at this, look at this, what's happening in this. Oh man, there's even like a scoreboard and everything. I'm gonna get on that scoreboard. That's gonna be one of my goals to get on this scoreboard. Uh, this is freaking awesome. Uh, the website looks nice, um, very, a lot of information uh, and lots of graphics and so forth. 8-bit bullet hell, I love it. The embed could be, um, the background could be matching the background. But I, again, I made a video about this. Okay, get on it, come on. Um, but otherwise, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to jump in. I'm ready. My body is ready. I played it, played it a little bit. Um, but while the game was under development, so it has like this mechanic where, okay, this button does nothing, where you have like these um, side guns, <laughs> these, these cross guns, and shooting from the sides. Oh my gosh, what is happening? What was, what happened? Did I just get killed? Oh my gosh. Ectane! What? What is happening? Top pilot, ace, veteran, rookie. Oh, okay, so it has like three slots for high scores? That's cool. So close, try again. I don't think that was close, Ectane. I don't think that was close. You're, um, I, I know what I did wrong. In, that's so interesting. You can have like three different ships, so to speak. You're the ships at the top, and also you're the ship at the bottom. And because moving up moves the guns up, you're kind of motivated on approaching the enemies a little bit. Oh man, there's just a lot happening on the screen. Oh, what? Oh man. <laughs> that is br brutal. Okay, so wait, so how how do I even how do I, oh man ooh ah ooh no no What are the these enemies? What are these enemies? Actane! Actane, what are the enemies? What are they? Oh! <laughs> what? I, I picked up something? Oh no! What was that? That was a rookie, that was a rookie mistake. What oh something always comes down and I know what it is. Is that a, a random power-up you start out with or how does that work? There's an A X AX gauge. Is that some, something like shield mate? Oh my, look at the, <laughs> the amount of particles coming out when you... How many, how many lives do you even have? You have like zero lives? And now there's some kind of bullet cancelling as well. Oh, okay, so it seems to be like the Shieldmate AX thing where when you get hit once, you are in this danger mode. And when you get hit in a danger mode, then you are dead for reals. Uh, but if you stay in the danger mode for longer, then eventually it, it devolves back to normal mode. Oh no, you can press a button. Oh, you can press a button. I should, probably should read the manual. Okay, that's something I'm gonna do after I die. Yeah, baby! Oh, it all comes together now. Oh, man. <laughs> okay, let's read the manual. Prepare your cross guns. Cross gunner is a bullet hell inspired by caravan shmup for the Pico 8 mate for the lazy desk, baby. Blah, 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 blah. Um, controls. A, a Z button shoot. Shoot, hold to auto fire. Um, button to deploy EX wave. When ready, hold for auto deploy. Okay. Okay, so when the EX wave is ready, you can trigger it, but also you can hold it to trigger it whenever it's ready. Uh, okay, tips. Use the cross guns to safely engage the enemy. Okay, uh, shoot the enemy constantly to build EX. Okay, so EX is on the right um, upper right corner. That's in the EX gauge. Use repair when in danger. Repairs will repair, reappear if lost. What is the repair? Oh, that's the thing. Okay, w repair what? Oh, I guess blue is repaired and red is damaged. I guess that's the idea, the, the way it just works. Um, keep metals in gold and silver for high points. All right, all right, all right. Okay, okay, so so yeah, there's just basically like red and blue and you can trigger the EX wave at any time. You don't have to be red. I, I misunderstood. Okay, let's try. Ah, yeah, I was repaired. That's that's what, what you pick up at the beginning. You pick up the repair. That's. That makes a lot more sense now. Oh, that was... So now I got hit. Now I need to repair. 
See, now I'm repaired. Ah, got it. Now the EX is ready. I'm starting the EX. Getting all of the medals. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. I understand this game now. I understand EX ready. Yes. Yes, it's kind of like manual bullet cancelling, I guess, right? Oh, 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 the danger, danger zone. It's triggering the thing, getting the repair. Excellent. Oh, yeah, I got this game on down now. Uh oh, oh. <laughs> except I died. <laughs> one more time, one more go, one more go. Come on, Nictane. Show me what you got. I'm gonna have one attempt and another one afterwards, and then I'm gonna go to the conclusion. Uh, which, as you can already tell, is gonna be probably quite positive. Doot, doot, doot. Oh, that wasn't good. EX wave. I should have triggered the X wave earlier. Uh oh, that now I'm missing the EX that I was probably should have have had have had had have had have had. I cannot talk. I cannot talk. It is impossible to talk right now. Okay, I'm I'm feeling I'm good. I'm feeling I'm good. No, I'm not good. The X wave. Oh man, this is this is a proper bullet hell. This is this is oh ha ha. This feels good. The X wave. <laughs> this is oh, on. <laughs> okay, last attempt. I, it feel it feels like I'm 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 getting the hang of this game. I I'm, I'm I don't feel as completely lost as I was at the beginning anymore. Those times are over, man. New me, it's a new me. Oh yeah, EX wave. Oh, I love the, um, that the, it actually visually shows you when you have the EX. Good. Uh oh, I'm not, I'm not good right now. <laughs> okay, one more time, one more time. Come on, we can do this. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, baby. That's such, those guns are so cool. They really encourage you to go a bit closer to the top of the screen. And that's always a big, big problem with shmups. What, what do, reason do they have, the players have to stay at the bottom of the screen, right? That's always like the question. Uh, not to stay at the bottom of the screen. Oh man, those bullets from behind, that was, that was unfair, Actane. That was unfair, Actane. That hurt my soul. Uh, yeah, baby. Okay, getting rid of those guys. Now... Yeah, baby! Okay, uh, I can get those guys now with my side shots. Oh, yeah, I've been here before. I I know this guy. Oh, no! Well, that's not what I wanted. I'm gonna use the EX move. I'm gonna repair myself back in full force. Yes! Yes! Let up! Ah! Ah! <laughs> Oh no! So close, the repair was just there! <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Do I have to say anything? This is amazing! <laughs> this is incredible! No, I, I... There's nothing I can say here. This is an amazing game made by somebody who understands exactly how shmups work, and yet it does not follow a standard shmup formula. This is a weird shmup with weird mechanics that have been polished to a shining gem, it's amazing. I want to play this more. I will definitely play this more. I This is a game I want to bite my teeth into. I love the mechanics, the way they you constantly switch between danger and then being f fully up again, right? Like with the, um, with the EX meter, you always have, like when the, the, when it gets really tight, when the screen gets tightly packed with bullets, you can flip things around. You can activate your meter and then suddenly you turn all those bullets into medals and and uh, <laughs> and then you can grab the repair and then you're fully up again you know it's um, th this ebb and flow feels very addictive and it feels like you always have a chance to get to the craziest patterns and i think this is something that is really really valuable if a game can pull this off and that's something i have to keep in mind when i work on my my big, big, big um, bullet, um, bullet hell kind of shmup. So definitely going to learn a lot from this game. I'm going to have to dig in my teeth in here. I'm going to have to say one thing, though. I feel the graphics could use like a really, really talented pixel artist to take it to, you know, 12. You know, not it's, now it's at 11. It has to be like the shmup could get to level 12 if we had really amazing graphics. Right now, a lot of enemies are just like a box, you know. And it just feels like placeholder graphics right now. <clears throat> you could easily sell this game. This is this feels like a game that could be a like a professional commercial product. And 
Oh, I'm just so happy that we got this. This is, mmm, I love it. I love it. I have to say, this is also one of the things that I was hoping that would happen, that um, the tutorial series would um, and kind of attract people from the shmup community who have great knowledge of how shmups work, but maybe didn't really have like an outlet for this knowledge and were maybe frustrated to see people not getting certain basic understanding of shmups right and then giving them this ability to take their experience and their knowledge and their passion for the genre into a game that exemplifies the concepts that they've learned over the years. So yeah, this is exactly what I was hoping would happen and it happened and I'm happy as a clam. Mm. Yeah, definitely gonna play more of that soon. But for now, thank you everybody for joining on this video. Thank you all to all those devs creating those beautiful, beautiful shmups. I enjoy them a lot. I'm happy to see what more we have in the basic shmup showcase. Until then, see you next time around, guys. Bye-bye.